Whenever we see ships, we automatically think that they are probably transporting some cargo to some place. But have you ever wondered what goes on on board those ships? And how do the people responsible for operating these vessels live their lives? Hi there, I'm Chief McCoy and welcome aboard to my channel. I've been a seafarer for more than 20 years and at present, I work on board cargo ships as a chief engineer. In all my years of sailing, I have experienced many things. I have visited many countries, learned about their different cultures, met a lot of wonderful people, and had the opportunity to get a taste of their local delicacies. Good food, right? And of course, I have also earned a decent living for my family. Being able to provide well for them has always been my main motivation to pursue this profession. Yes, a lot of you might have heard many things about the lifestyle that seafarers live. But beyond the general perception, do you really know what their life is like? Working on board a ship is not an easy profession. Not everyone can handle a life at sea. The idea of being away from home for months, the isolation, the homesickness, some people are just not built for that. The ship itself is a hazardous workplace, and a lot of the day-to-day -day activities involve manual labor. Seafarers face potential dangers like accidents and workplace injuries, incidents like fire, capsizing, and in some areas, their ships can even be attacked by pirates. Yes, pirates still exist. Even if they are fortunate enough to complete their contracts without having any of these incidents, the one thing that they will surely face on an almost regular basis is passing through rough sea. As if all that was not enough, on an average year, a typical seafarer spends about eight months, sometimes even more, working on board a ship. A big chunk of their lives is spent away from home. That means they pretty much miss a lot of the events, good or bad, that their families go through. Their kids practically grow up with an absentee parent. Now having seen what I have just shown you, you might be asking, why would anyone ever want to work on board a ship? I mean, sure, seafarers, they get paid well. They get to travel around the world. They experience adventure and a lot of other things that most people could only imagine. But is it all worth it? Each and every one of us have different levels of resilience. What may be tolerable for some, might be unacceptable to others. If you ask me, my answer would be a definite yes. Having been able to give my family a good life, for me, outweighs all sacrifices. Seafaring remains to be one of the most popular professions, with the Philippines supplying about 400,000 seafarers comprising roughly 30% of the global workforce. But it is not a profession that one enters into lightly. Yes, there are a lot of potential benefits, but also a lot of disadvantages, some of which might be too unbearable for most people. How about you? Do you think you have what it takes to live the seafarer's life? Hi there.
Jepang seperti ini ya. Hehehe, <laughs> 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 <laughs>